Just taking a quick look at this new power station from ePolar. This is actually, uh, well, as you can see, you know, basically they, it's pretty much a direct copy of the uh, EcoFlow Delta, uh, specifically the original EcoFlow Delta Max. <laughs> now, EcoFlow just kind of updated the Max model to the Delta 2 Max. So, um, unfortunately for this company, um, they're a little late to the game because actually if we, we take a look at the specs here, um, well, yeah, let's just talk about it. So basically, it's about 2100 watt hours. And the thing to note is that it is um, NMC batteries. So they actually refer to these batteries as ternary batteries. It's basically just another term for NMC, you know, the typical lithium ion batteries. So, um, so yeah, basically, this thing is like a clone of the original Delta Max. Uh, Delta Max 2000 and then we do get a 2200 watt inverter now one thing to know with this is that they actually say that the the peak power or the surge is only 3000 watts on this if it's 2200 watt inverter I want to see that thing be able to surge up to 4400 watts like double right and then for the charging we do get that bi-directional inverter they're saying 1650 is the max input on that and this display does look quite nice so um well we'll talk about the design you know we'll kind of get into all the design stuff here in a second and then for the solar charging, actually, this has got pretty decent specs here. Um, they actually say it's a 600 watt max input, but the voltage range is pretty good. So uh, 12 to 80 volts. And so that's enough. You know, you can definitely do kind of, you know, three standard solar panels, you know, around 18, 20 volts, something like that. You can definitely do that with uh, three of those in series. And you're going to want put, to put solar panels in series with this unit because it is only limited to 10 amps. So you really need to get the, the voltage up, you know, if you want to put some decent power into this. And then one way that this company is actually trying to differentiate themselves from EcoFlow is they do claim that they include an electric vehicle charger with this unit. Now, we'll, we'll kind of talk about this more here in a second. And then they do say that you can actually kind of have like an expandable setup with this system, with these units. And But it's kind of weird because take a look at this image. They're basically, at least, you know, from the image, maybe the image is wrong. But basically, actually, let's just zoom in here a little bit. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> actually, you can see it. I mean, basically, they're saying it looks like that they're charging from the inverter and then they're just charging another unit. I mean, this is kind of silly because, of course, you can do this with any power station, right? You can use the inverter to charge another unit. So I don't know uh, group string connection. The only thing I can think of is maybe this image is wrong and they're supposed to show it using this port because, well, actually, yeah, let's, yeah, okay. We zoom in there. You can actually see this is kind of like an unusual port, right? So, so maybe this is some kind of like special DC output port. I don't know, but um, or maybe maybe this is the port that you're supposed to use, you know, for the electric vehicle charger, um, because it is part of this. It looks like it's part of this uh, section here that uses the the switch for the AC inverter. So um, who knows? And the thing that actually makes this even more confusing is in some of the images and some of the videos they show you know this setup here with with basically the two outlets and then this kind of weird port <laughs> and then uh, actually in the same image look at this in the same image they they actually show it with four just four regular ac outputs and again you know in these different images and these different videos it kind of varies <laughs> so i'd like to see some clarification on what is actually going on here <laughs> you know and then, of course, let's just finish this thing off with a quick design analysis here. You know, obviously, they copied EcoFlow with this. And they're not the first company to do that, right? I took a look at that Marzon. I forget the exact model name on it. But, um, but yeah, I took a look at that thing. And, uh, you know, similar story, right? But, but this thing, I would say, is almost even more of a direct copy, right? Because uh, of the handle design, right? The handle, which is a good design. The handle design and basically they copied the the vents almost exactly as well but actually they didn't they, they one thing that they didn't quite understand about you know why ecoflow actually has this vent design the ecoflow units the vent actually these these grates kind of like fade back into the side of the product and the reason ecoflow actually does that is because it, it basically makes it almost impossible to seal these vents off Right, because it, even if you put this unit flat up against something that actually blocks, you know, basically covers the, the vent outputs on this, <laughs> and, you know, like this, basically air can still seep out the side of these uh, little grates, these channels here. So, you know, again, it just makes it almost impossible to seal it off. But as you can imagine, you know, basically with this setup here, 
since they actually have the edges sealed off with this. Um, you know, if you push this unit flat up against the wall or something, you will actually seal these vents off. So, um, so yeah, they copied it, but they didn't quite understand what was really going on there, right? But I do like kind of this case design that they did. You know, basically, this is a nice design detail. Having this uh, edge that kind of wraps around here from top to bottom. And look, as it wraps around the bottom, we get this nice, you know, we get this nice little lip down there. So, you know, it is, it is kind of a, a nice... Uh, it's, it's a nice variation on that EcoFlow Delta design and it's you know quite attractive as I mentioned nice large big screen with a you know basically a, a ton of information on there right and interesting too they mention they have a little GPS thing on there a little light icon on there stuff I haven't you know seen them actually mentioned um, you know in, in this listing at all so that's kind of interesting a little I think that's the little electric vehicle charger thing too and then one thing that I do really like to see here is I uh, check this out, you know, especially if you saw my video on that new Delta II Max where I complained about basically on EcoFlow, they have this little light, you know, that turns on when you turn the USB section on. They have it off center, like on just slightly to the left. So that just kind of, you know, drove me crazy. <laughs> um, so this is just, I actually really like to see this. These, the, that light's center, this light's center, right? So uh, all these lights will be centered if you have them on. And we do get, they just say these are type C, but in the listing, you know, they do say 100 watts. So uh, good USB specs on there. And I like to actually see four USB A's as well. And by the way, the weight on this thing is about 48 pounds. So again, almost identical to the, the original Delta Max. Um, and, and again, unfortunate for them, you know, that new Delta II Max only weighs 50 pounds with LFP batteries. So, and you get, you know, the app and all that, all the other stuff that EcoFlow offers. So yeah. Um, you know, unfortunately for this company, I think, um, you know, unless, you know, unless you really just love the EcoFlow Delta design, but EcoFlow did something that, you know, piss you off and you're never going to buy an EcoFlow product again. I don't know, you know, I'm not sure why you would really want to consider this product. Although, like I said, it does, you know, it does look attractive and it does have decent solar specs, decent charging specs. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's about it. Right. So, um, so yeah, so hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful or interesting and yeah, thanks for watching.